Back here at home, the state is hoping to get more of Hawaii's population vaccinated by taking the COVID vaccines to local high schools. That's right, and it's happening this morning at Waipahu High School. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live with a preview. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine Ross. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting step in this whole process that we've been living through, and it's an all-day event because a Hawaii Pacific Health COVID-19 vaccination bus is going to be making a stop here at Waipahu High School at 9.30 this morning and will go on until 4.30 this afternoon. Now, there's a lot of details that we know so far when it comes to making your appointment here. First of all, it is only for first doses, and like we've been covering, as of right now, vaccinations is for anyone who is above the age of 16 years. So if you are 16 or 17 years old, or if, you're, if you have a child who is 16 or 17, do know that they have to come with a parent or a guardian, and all patients must wear their mask to their appointment, and also bring a photo ID, medical insurance card, and appointment confirmation. Again, you can make that appointment at hawaiipacifichealth.org forward slash COVID vax squad. We have that information on our website at khon2.com, but we actually got in touch with the principal here at Waipahu High School. His name is Keith Hayashi, and he gives us some details about how he feels about this new step that's coming over to his school and his students getting vaccinated. Take a listen. We do want to open uh, come the fall, and in addition to practicing our layered mitigation strategies, uh, it's really important that our students are vaccinated. So again, that was a principal of Waipahu High School just sharing his thoughts for today. But Waipahu High School isn't just the only school where the HPH COVID-19 vaccine bus is going to make a stop. I checked on their website right now, and there's up to 10 schools at this point. Now, details on the dates and times haven't been released for the other schools, but it's from Aea, Campbell, Farrington, Kaimuki, Kalani, Kapolei, Moanalua, Pearl City, and Radford. A total of 10 schools. So we'll give you another live look in the next half hour, but if you want some more details, head over to our website at khon2.com. Reporting from Waipahu High School, Dallas Onaveros, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you very much, Dallas.